While the Phoenix is very dangerous against small flyers, it's much more vulnerable to heavily armed and armored targets like these battle cruisers. The Phoenix simply doesn't have the firepower to break through that thick Terran armor. In order to deal with a battle cruiser squadron of this size, we'll need to bring in a new weapon of war. This is the Warp Ray. The Warp Ray does additional damage the longer it fires at a single target. This makes the Warp Ray very dangerous against tough armored targets like we have. Ray dangerous against battle cruisers also makes it very effective against enemy structures. You can see this barracks is taking tons of damage from these warp rays and is going to try to lift off to escape, but it just can't get away in time. The warp rays are very vulnerable to small units like these marines. They simply waste too much of their damage on single targets, and they're quickly destroyed. You'll also notice that as these warp rays die, their debris falls to the ground and rolls down that ramp. This is an example of our physics system in action. It's just another example of the types of technologies we're adding to StarCraft II. Now, with our warp rays destroyed, the Terrans are going to fortify their position here. Before we finish the demo today, there's one last unit we'd like to show you. This is the Protoss Mothership. It is the ultimate weapon in the Protoss arsenal. You're only allowed a single mothership at one time, and it costs a significant number of resources to bring onto the battlefield. But the mothership's special abilities really justify the expense. The first of these is the Time Bomb. This special ability creates a time distortion field. It slows down all enemy movement inside. Notice the missiles are actually stopping inside the time field and are not able to strike the mothership. And when the time field ends, the missiles fall harmlessly to the ground. In addition to her time bomb ability, the mothership also has a special attack that she can employ against ground targets. This is the planet cracker. Ordinarily, you have to expose your mothership to significant enemy fire to use this weapon, but these marines simply don't have the firepower to cut through that thick Protoss shield. We proceed. Since you're only allowed a single mothership, you can expect the enemy to throw everything they've got at your mothership in an attempt to destroy it. Now in a real game, this mothership would be out of shields and out of energy. But this is our demo. So we're going to give this mothership some additional 